This is Dave Putz from JKP Holdings. Recently, we've gotten a bunch of questions regarding how to access things um, and how to use Google Sheets. Uh, different from Excel, Google Sheets is more collaborative, uh, easier to use, um, and referencing things uh, just makes it simpler for you, I'm, uh, as well as sellers in this case. Um, when we send out the email, um, you obviously can get access to the scrub list which has a bunch of our assets that we have uh, listed for sale. They're either ours or colleagues of ours. To access the addresses, you need to fill out the NDA, which you click on H1, and immediately will download a NDA for 2019 that you'll sign and return back to Trade Desk at JKP Holdings. Once you get access to the actual uh, full details um, to you can't edit the sheet. It's actually a collaborative sheet where everyone, anyone who the email address um, that we have in file has access to, no one else can access that file. You would, uh, to edit it or to do anything with it, you can make a copy onto your Google Drive or you can file, download as Excel. However, as we also indicate in our emails, to get access uh, to the updates, changes, uh, assets added, or assets sold, um, you would actually have to subscribe to the actual Google Sheet. And if you make a copy or download Excel, you will not get those updates uh, because it's stick with that Google Drive Google Sheet file. To access the notifications area, you gotta go to Tools, Notification rules. You're going to do any changes made and your choice between daily or right away. Most people use daily. So you basically get an email when any time this sheet changes. Granted, we may up to date the, we may add assets. We also uh, may edit something here, sold. Um, a seller may add additional information um, that we didn't have before. So the sheet will constantly be quote unquote live. So this hopefully will answer some of the questions you've had. Again, as a quick recap, you can't edit. It's a view only sheet to either download to Excel or add it to your Google Drive. You can make a copy or download it as Excel to either one of those files. We'll get any kind of updates because it's a copy of the sheet not the actual sheet, to get to notifications, again, tools, notification rules, and set it. This will send to the email address that's associated with your Gmail. So if your business account does not have a Gmail link to it, you just have to have it set to either filter or forward to your business email, or be checking your Gmail for any kind of updates or whatnot. Uh, most people are sending forwards that any emails that come from us uh, in their private Gmail gets forwarded to their uh, business email. Our Gmail uh, email is actually a Gmail account, um, which is why we're able to use Google Drive and all the luxuries of it. Any questions, feel free to, to reach out and look forward to seeing you guys soon.